Mike Tyndall, the Rugby World Cup winner, watched the match between France and our beloved box. He was quite emotional about it and believed France deserved the win. He mentioned that the French team outperformed us in many aspects. Tyndall very much wanted them to take on Les Bleus in the semi-finals as the former centre insisted that the box produced a smash-and-grab display. I was more emotional about that game than the English game. I just so wanted France to get where they deserve to be, he said on the Good, the Bad and the Rugby podcast. They deserve to win that game. They were the better team by an absolute country mile. South Africa missed 43 tackles. They had to make 153. They lost on every stat across the board but they had three snapshots from box kicks not dealt with properly. They didn't create anything, yet that is what South Africa do in World Cups. If you go back to 2019, I said, it would be a disgrace if South Africa won the World Cup, and they won it. If you go through everything, France had more meters, defenders beaten, France beat 43 compared to 12, and clean breaks. They should have won that game. That first 20 minutes was breathless and it could have been 14 Nero, but suddenly it's 7-7. Seven seven. Most people are writing off England heading into the semi-final with South Africa, but Tyndall believes that anything can happen in one-off games. The biggest factor in this is that you're now in semi-final rugby and what that does for the pressure levels, he said. It's knockout rugby. It's the only time you can believe because you have to. It's not like playing an autumn series. There's only one game, it's 80 minutes, and it only takes a few decisions. They will go a bit siege mentality, but it comes down to their intent. South Africa had their one game, why can't we have our one game in this semi-final? What do you think about Tyndall's take on South Africa's style of play? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're enjoying our updates, smash that like button and make sure you're subscribed to Springboks News for more exciting rugby discussions.